Renters, listen up. How much do you know about the person or company you're renting from? A Shaker Heights woman learned an important lesson about doing your homework before you sign that lease the hard way. She's now facing eviction. Five on your side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joins us live in the newsroom with some important advice. Well, Lee, Rose Price made a startling discovery about the person she's running from, but she didn't take the right steps, and it's landed her right in the middle of an ongoing legal battle. Because these scams have been going on for years. Rose Price is talking about the legal hassles she's been facing ever since she rented this beautiful home in Shaker Heights for $1,250 a month back in May. Price and her friend Frida Walton say they suspected something wasn't right when the landlord verbally promised to put in new blinds three months ago. Did he live up to his promise? No, he did not. No, he did not. He didn't live up to his promise because. Um, he denied that he even said that to her. The broken promises caused Price to verify the ownership of the house with the Cuyahoga County Fiscal Officer, and that's when she made a startling discovery. And the clerk told me, no, he is not the legal owner. Who owns it? Uh, the Gillylands, G-I-L-L-E-Y-L-E-N. Do they live in town? No, they live in Alabama. That's right. Price signed a lease for this home with a man who didn't legally own the house back in May. News Channel 5 contacted Price's landlord by phone. We won't reveal his name because of an ongoing lawsuit. But he admits he failed to finish completing the transfer of the house until August 31st, more than three months after Price signed the lease with him. But now, Price is facing eviction because she took matters into her own hands, withholding rent for two months without court supervision. And the court has ordered her to pay up. A tough lesson learned. Rentors cannot withhold rent on their own. Do you understand that? I, I understand that, but my concern was, why would I continue to put rent into the courts to a person that didn't legally own the property? Well, now, now he does. Now he does. And as you might guess, this case is headed back to court. Tenants, remember, you can only withhold rent through an escrow account supervised by city court and always get agreements made by your landlord in writing as an addendum to your existing lease. We will follow up on this case. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.